time to get to pro trader Alan Nuckman, the chief market strategist at Paradigm. Alan, what do you think about the stock market action this week with the selling pressure and what's your trading strategy? Hello, Angie. Stocks seem steady, but also a bit slow. So today, let's talk about what I think is a better way to trade using in the money options that act like the stock as a stock substitution strategy. It's very, very straightforward. Instead of buying the stock, you buy a deep in the money option that acts like the stock, but produces potentially bigger gains. Do you have any examples from one of your trades on how to make options work for you and avoid some risk in any market? A good example would be Go Go Gold. Uh, when it was it September 17th, just a month ago, GDX, the Gold Miners Index, uh, was trading about 40, it's now at about 43. Now that's a $3 move in a stock, but the option that we looked at that particular day uh, was around 465. We bought a 37 call, again, a December option deep in the money, and now that option is trading about seven, so it's up about 50%. So it's the gains with limited risk, which is what I think is a better way to trade and position for success. What's your new trade? All right, today's trade is an unofficial trade, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Unofficial trade, I like what I see in Google. I see money flow into this uh, stock. We do have earnings on the 29th, so that could possibly be a catalyst. We've been between 150 and 170 for three months, a breakout of that range. Uh, that targets 190. Uh, so 160 is a pivot. We've been holding above that. If we get back above that 170 range top, we could see a pop. The way to play is a December option, a December 150 call, the bottom of this range. Google the stock is about 15% off the July highs versus the NASDAQ is only 2% from the all-time record in setting up for a pop. We've been talking on the show about the election and the market. And one thing I have to point out is professional traders who've been through all kinds of markets remain so calm and sleep fine at night. What can you leave us with now for your trading day takeaways? Trading takeaway number one, trade not. So you have to understand that being out of the market isn't bad. It's only an opportunity cost. So if that's your personality, that's an option. Uh, tra uh, trading takeaway number two is to trade. There's, But you also want to remember that there's always going to be opportunities in the short term, in the long term, up, down, sideways in these marketplaces. So if you miss an opportunity, things are much different than they were years ago, and there will be another one coming along. And trading takeaway number three, for me, it's hard because these are binary bets. Uh, that these are not the best odds. You're trying to get a better uh, odds than 50-50 chance, and who knows how the market's gonna react. And let's remember Warren Buffett, rule number one. Rule number one is don't lose money. Follow rule number one. That's such a great saying. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. We Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.